Hello and welcome to another update video about XRP. In yesterday's video, we covered also the larger time frame, the bigger picture. So in this video, I just want to take a look at the smaller time frame. And um, we can see that indeed the market topped in three waves here. So we had a three wave rally from the 5th of August low into the 7th of August high. And so far we could not see a break um, or the, the bulls couldn't generate a break above the descending trend line here, which would be a breakout signal. Um, the pullback is too deep for an impulse to the upside. Remember that we are watching here for an A, B, C structure to the upside. This C wave has become less likely, but is still what I'm watching for, um, either directly or after a dip into this support zone before we go higher. Quick reminder that um, I highlighted that X, uh, XRP doesn't like to form impulses. XRP doesn't like to form five wave movements. That doesn't make it easy. It just doesn't because also here, this initial rally from the 5th of July low was just a three wave rally. The pullback was a three wave correction. And also now this rally was just a three wave move. Now from a bullish perspective, I could now see it as a diagonal pattern. Uh, we broke the last micro support. Again, you know, it would have been too easy to just form an impulse, right? So XRP makes it a bit more difficult. And again, it could be a diagonal pattern as long as we're holding the 52.2 cent level. It's the 78.6 retracement. At the moment, we're holding above it. And that means, yes, this C wave that we've been watching for could be unfolding. And yes, we could reach 72 cents plus, but it's not an easy pathway. It will be messy. That's just what Elliott Wave tells us. It will, if it is happening, then it will be messy. Twists and turns, corrective structures. Why? Because this pullback is too deep for anything else. It has to be a diagonal or yellow wave B, which in the white count presumably bottomed here on the 5th of August, that's still unfolding. But for now, I'm watching still the white count. It morphed a little bit. 52.2 cents is the key support. And it is possible that from here a C wave rally starts. Then the third wave should get to 72 cents or higher. And then we get another 4-5 pattern to fulfill wave C. This is a roadmap if this chart is forming a diagonal pattern. This scenario gives you very clear support levels between 52.2 and 54.5 cents. We've seen an initial reaction to support, but it's not a convincing reaction. I would not at all be surprised if the market breaks below 52.2 cents and we're testing the lower support region again, which I've labeled B wave standard support. So that is what would be plan B. In this scenario, um, the market yeah, rallied in an A wave and we are still in the B wave pullback and it turns or it, let's say it, it, it takes the shape of an A, B, C structure before we go higher. This, however, would be an, a super messy wave count and would look a bit strange, wouldn't have the right look. So it would be ideal if really the low was in in wave B. But yeah, again, it's only a diagonal. So it's going to be, it, it is, as you know, it is a messy chart. I mentioned to you that these news related rallies often top in three waves. Now that could be wave one, wave two, and an A wave. That's a three wave top, which could result in a diagonal still, but diagonals are difficult to trade, or it's just a B wave top and then watch the lower support region. Okay, quick reminder, the lower support region is defined between 42.6 and 49.3 cents. So what do we need to watch for now? First of all, I think it's important to pay attention to the red line. The red trend line could be a breakout line. So if the bulls can drive the price to that trend line, a break above it could send us to 72 cents. Need a convincing break, however. Um, this year hasn't clearly bottomed yet. We're still forming lower lows and lower highs, which means another test of support seems likely. And at least we need to consider it might happen. And in that case, 52.2 cents could be the next support level from where an, a reversal could be attempted. Um, this year is not convincing yet, but as soon as we get a, a break above the last high, 60.4 cents, we might see the price get to the trend line. And if we can break it, 72 cents is next. Definitely not the structure I would I would trust. I mean, overall, nothing has changed here since, well, for a month, I'd say nearly, because since these three waves topped here, 
on the 17th of July, we are in a range, okay? So the support area is holding. We haven't got any breakout to the upside. It's just a sideways range it's starting to get boring again. And again, overall, not much happened. But if we can see a break above the red trend line, I think that's the next significant move that can cause us to watch it more closely. That's the update about XRP. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.